Bye, guys. So in honor of Super Bowl coming up very, very soon on Sunday, I am making guacamole. Guac, guac, guacamole. <laughs> Sorry, I have that song in my head. Yes, it's from Elmo. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get started on making guacamole. So for the first ingredient you'll need is avocados. Um, I use three avocados. If you have bigger avocados, um, just use two. Um, or depending on how many people you are serving it to, um, also depends on how many avocados you will need. So just slice them in half. Make sure they're ripe. So you can take the pit out by hitting it. Yes, and it's less it safe, but everybody needs a little bit of excitement in their life, right? So just slice them. You can see I'm slicing them. Just makes it easier to get out. I guess you don't really have to, but I always do. And then just get them out and continue to do it with the rest of your Once you avocado. took the meat out of the avocado, that's what they call it, um, you want to take a fork and start mashing your avocado down. So just go and mash it all down. And this recipe is really fast and simple to make. Um, make sure you make it like right before the party because avocado does turn brown. Now I don't mash it all down because I like a little bit of chunk in my guacamole. So in order for it to hopefully not turn brown as fast, you want to take a lemon and squeeze it. This is a half of lemon and you want to just squeeze it in your hand so that you don't get any seeds in your guacamole. Next you want to mince about four garlic cloves. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. These are called garlic keepers. They keep your garlic fresh. And then on the bottom is a garlic grater. And you just grate it. And then you take olive oil, salt and pepper, and of course the garlic, and then dip French bread in it. Anyways, so just mince about four garlic cloves. Depending on the size of your garlic cloves, um, if they're big, obviously you will want to do three. If they're small, four. For the next ingredient, you will want salsa. Um, I normally use chunky salsa, but I didn't happen to have any in the fridge like I normally do. So I just use, am using my canned salsa. Um, so since it is not chunky, I am going to also add some tomatoes into it. Um, use about one fourth cup of salsa. And like I said, it is not chunky enough for me because when I make salsa I, to can, I usually just blend it because I'm lazy about taking the tomato peels off. So anyways, um, so just add about one small tomato. Unless you have chunky salsa, of course, then you don't have to add any tomato unless you like extra tomatoes. So for the next ingredient, you will want to add onions. This is about a quarter, if not smaller, um, of an onion. You don't like to add a lot of onion because you don't want your whole guacamole to taste like onion, but just enough that it gives it an extra flavor. Just stir it. For the next ingredient, you'll want to add some sour cream. Um, I would use about a fourth of a cup also. Um, if you like it really creamy, 
which I usually do, just add more sour cream to it. And of course, there are healthier options of using Greek yogurt instead. Um, I do notice a difference in taste, so I don't. But really, um, sour cream doesn't have a ton of calories anyway, so you're pretty safe with a little bit of sour cream. And most of this, well, I would say all of this is pretty healthy. The only thing that makes it a little less healthy are the chips, of course. And for the last ingredients, you will want to use some crushed pepper. And I use about a teaspoon of pepper and then also use about a teaspoon of salt also. And this is pink because it's Himalayan salt. It's a healthier salt, less processed. So just stir it together and you are done. And this is what it looks like after you stirred it and after all of the ingredients are together. Look how pretty and creamy it is. So as you can see guys, guacamole is super easy, simple, tastes good. You should try it out. Mm. Very delicious, Good guys. If you like this dish I made, I made it in pottery. It's pretty handy. Anyway, so guacamole is great for any appetizer occasion, Super Bowl, or anything else. Um, go ahead and give it a try. Make the recipe. Comment below. Tell me how you liked it. Tell me how easy it was for you. Um, if you have any other questions, just comment below, of course. And I am open to any other recipes that you would like me to make. Um, subscribe to my channel, support it. Like, like this video by giving it a thumbs up. You can follow me on any of my social medias also, which you will find that on my page. So I'll talk to you later.